In today's video, I want to run you guys through some great deals that Newegg is running right now. 20% off on a lot of the newest games, and there are some great deals available. On top of that, we don't see deals on the PlayStation 4 Pro console often, but they've got a deal on that as well. And Amazon's got a great deal on a 12-month PlayStation Plus subscription card. So I'll give you guys a heads up on that. Outside of the deals, I also want to take a look at a new VR game in Skyworld, and that is out March 26th. And Dead or Alive 6, just two weeks after its launch, is getting a free-to-play version. We knew that this was coming, but it's still a little bit surprising, but it should get more people to play the game. More on that at the end of this video. First up, let's talk about all of the great deals that Newegg is running right now. They have a promo code that knocks off 20% off on a lot of games, including a lot of the most recent releases. Some of the games included include Metro Exodus Day 1 Edition, as well as the Aurora Limited Edition. The Day 1 Edition would be knocked down to $48, and that's quite good for Metro Exodus. You're not seeing this game go on sale all too often. $48 is still a pretty steep price to pay, but the game is high quality. Is it a perfect game in terms of execution? No, but there is a lot to like, and in terms of gameplay and design, it is very good, and of course, at a technical level, it is one of the best PlayStation 4 games that you're ever gonna look at. I know Anthem is getting a lot of hate, and rightfully so, but the Legion of Dawn edition, as well as the base edition, are 20% off. The base edition, $48. Legion of Dawn would be down to $64. If all of your friends are playing Anthem, and you want to jump in on the experience, and you want to do so a little bit cheaper, it's not a bad buy at that price. I I just do believe it's gonna go on sale rather quickly. So if you can hold out a little bit longer, I do foresee Anthem being pretty cheap as we head into the summer. Red Dead Redemption 2, I mentioned this yesterday, but that is down to $36. That is a great buy on that, one of the best games of 2018. If not the best game, I honestly thought it was the best game of 2018, but it is a remarkable open world title, and Rockstar typically doesn't put their games on sale all so quickly after release, but with Red Dead Redemption 2, yes, it's not a sizable discount considering it is, what, five months old at this point, but to get it for nearly half half of its original price, I would say that that's pretty great. Marvel Spider-Man is also seeing a pretty steep discount. It is down to $32. I do believe they knocked the MSRP down to $40, so it's not like this is an incredible deal, but still $32 for Marvel Spider-Man is quite good. Again, nearly half of its original price. You can't really go wrong with that. And Spider-Man, in my opinion, again, one of the best games of 2018. I think most people rank Spider-Man a little bit lower when you compare it to Red Dead Redemption 2, God of War, and some of the best games of 2018. But man, I would put Marvel Spider-Man right up there. Could definitely understand why you don't think it's as good of a game as, say, RDR2 or God of War. And as a Spider-Man fan, I had a great time with that game. Also, for those of you guys looking to get into Kingdom Hearts, they do have Kingdom Hearts The Story so far in stock and 20% off down to $32. This was going for obscene prices for a while and then Square Enix finally restocked it. $32 for Kingdom Hearts The Story so far is terrific. Of course, this includes Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8. You have nine epic Kingdom Hearts experiences, and really, this is the best gateway into Kingdom Hearts. You've got Kingdom Hearts 1, you've got Kingdom Hearts 2, you've got Ray Chain of Memories, you've got Birth by Sleep, you've got Dream Drop Distance 2.8, so much content for your money. $32 for all of the content you're getting, it's actually pretty obscene. And speaking of Kingdom Hearts, they do have Kingdom Hearts 3. It's listed at $60, but 20% off would knock it down to $48. KH3 has really held up in value. $48 is a pretty good price. Amazon did recently have it for like $50. On top of that, they had like a $10 gift card with it. So this isn't the best price I've seen for it, but still pretty good. And that's not a bad price. For those of you that have been eyeing Jump Force, that is also a part of this sale. It is down to $48 after 20% off. So not horrible on that. Jump Force wasn't a great game, but for gamers that are a fan of all of the IPs that are in the game, that's when you're really going to enjoy the game. It's a lot more style and flash than substance. But if you are a fan of that flash, playing it with friends, it also offers a pretty good time. Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown is also available for $48, as is Resident Evil 2, one of the early contenders for Game of the Year, so that is quite good. Resident Evil 2, even being, what, almost two months old at this point, has really held up in value, so I would say that that is a pretty good buy. And those are the highlights from the new egg sale. I would say that there are some standouts, Red Dead Redemption 2, Marvel Spider-Man, definitely Kingdom Hearts the story so far. Again, there was a time that people were dropping insane amounts of money for the 1.5 and 2.5 collection, and 2.8 was going for an obscene price as well. You've got both of those collections. Well, actually three collections. All of that for $32 is quite remarkable. And then Kingdom Hearts 3 for $48 is excellent as well. So check out all of those deals as a part of that sale. A lot of good to snag up. Also, as I mentioned at the top, Newegg has also got a deal on a PlayStation 4 Pro one terabyte console. It's 10% off. So $360 for the Pro. That's not a great deal considering that if they do have a bundle available, let's say if they do make a Days Gone PS4 Pro bundle, that's the best way to get your PlayStation 4 Pro. However, they haven't made a bundle 
bundle since the Spider-Man bundle. A Days Gone bundle has yet to be announced, and the game is a month away, so I doubt a bundle for that is coming. If you've been eyeing a PlayStation 4 Pro, this is probably the best deal that you're gonna get in quite a while. $360, yes, it's a steep price to pay, but if you're looking to get it anyway, it's not a bad pickup, and of course, the Pro will enhance a lot of the PlayStation 4 titles. It's not a gigantic leap up like the Xbox One X is. The Xbox One X is a sizable improvement from the original Xbox One. With the PlayStation 4 Pro, it's definitely an improvement, but not as big of a leap. In the case of both of these upgraded consoles, it all plays the same games. It's not like there are exclusive offerings on the PS4 Pro. There aren't exclusive offerings on the One X, so it's not an essential buy, especially because we're not all too far away from the release of the PlayStation 5 that's probably going to come out in the next year and a half or so. So at this point, my opinion would be to wait out on it if you are on a tight budget, but if you've been eyeing the PS4 Pro, 360 for it isn't a bad price. And lastly, as far as deals go, I do want to give a shout to Amazon as they've got a PlayStation plus 12 month membership card for $45 that is 25% off of its initial price of $60 and that's pretty good essentially you're paying a little under $4 a month for PS plus and I would say that is a really good buy given that a lot of you guys do complain about the PlayStation plus offerings there's a lot of reason to complain if you're say paying month by month $10 a month is kind of a steep price to pay or even if you're paying $60 a year you shouldn't be you should be paying at the most like around $45 ideally you'd be paying $40 and you'd be getting your subscription around Black Friday time because it's readily available for around that price, but if you do need to re-up your subscription, $45 over at Amazon is a really good buy. Alright, so that wraps up all the deals talk. I do have a couple of other topics to go over. The VR title in Skyworld is gonna be out March 26th. Skyworld is a VR war game from the same team that brought you Arizona Sunshine. This time, they're putting you at the helm of a kingdom at war in VR. Build your army from a huge variety of units from snipers to siege tanks and flying fortresses, conquer all worlds, and wage war against friends online. Obliterating your friends in multiplayer will have an even more permanent shove it in their face effects with the all new multiplayer features that they've added to Skyworld PSVR. A persistent leveling system will have you earn XP based on your single player and completing the game's all new daily challenges. Level up to unlock special avatars and earn a place on the new Skyboard PSVR leaderboards. The game offers a full size single player campaign that has you start out with a small but growing army on a royal conquest all across Skyworld. Again, the game will be hitting PSVR on March 26th. And lastly, I do want to give you guys a quick heads up about Dead or Alive 6. Yes, the game just came out, but Tecmo Koei and Team Ninja have put out Dead or Alive 6, the core fighters. Now, this is a free-to-play offering of Dead or Alive 6, and it only offers a couple of characters. Four characters from the game's larger roster, currently being Kazumi, Hitomi, Diego, and Boss. All characters are pretty varied, and players actually have access to quite a few modes. Dead or Alive 6 core fighters players can try out the introduction to the story mode, DOA Central, some DOA quests versus Time Attack Arcade and Training Mode. While the the initial roster is pretty limited and you'd want access to every character, guess what? You're not paying a full $60, so this is a much more palatable gateway into Dead or Alive 6. The fundamentals of the game aren't bad, however, this game has an obscene amount of DLC. I believe the season pass is like a crazy $100, or it's like $93 to be exact, and that's only season pass one. There's more DLC content coming, so figure that one out. That's on top of a base $60 purchase. So that is just a little bit crazy. However, now you can check out the free-to-play version, and that comes just two weeks after its launch. I would give it a recommendation because it's such a easy point of access. And hey, it comes at the great price of nothing. It's absolutely free. And that's gonna conclude this video. Again, Newegg is running some excellent deals right now. 20% off on a bunch of titles. They also have some Switch games on sale. If you guys are into that, you can check those out too. But a lot of quality games. RDR2, Marvel, Spider-Man, Kingdom Hearts, The Story So Far, Kingdom Hearts 3, Anthem, Metro Exodus, some very recent games. The PS4 Pro is also down to $360. PS Plus is down to $45 over on Amazon. Skyworld will be out on March 26th for PlayStation VR, and Dead or Alive 6 gets a free-to-play version only two weeks after launch. That's gonna conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.